Hi guys, it's uh, Ryan here, just to bring another video. Uh, this video is uh, just a, a different one. It's uh, on a figure that's not mine. It's a uh, family member's, but it's a uh, it's a figure that you know I thought that would be good. This uh, good to do a video on, uh, and this is going to be more of a comparison sort of video. But I'm going to give you a bit of a rundown anyway, or just a look at of what. This figure is, and it's the Batman v Superman Hot Toys Armored Batman Black Chrome version. And so it's a sideshow exclusive. It's a a limited one, and um, and it's a like I say, it's a unique one. Uh, it's just recently come out, and I thought, you know, why why don't I do a video on it? Um, so yeah, so uh, I'll kick it off. So. Starting, uh, ooh, starting with the box. Um, it really nice box actually. I think this is actually, in my opinion, the nicest box out of all of them. Um, now I'm not much of a box person, as you know, but as far as boxes go, this is quite nice. I mean, you know, it's got that very like shiny fin like finish to it. You know, um, sort of, you know. All shiny, glossy finish sort of on the box. Uh, you got your armored Batman black chrome version with your sideshow exclusive sticker. Still got the Batman sort of texture there on the suit, and also you got like the armored like chips in there, which is kind of cool. Um, then you obviously on the side, um, you got it says there so. So MMS 356 Armored Batman Black Chrome version 1 6 scale collectible figure. Uh, so then you got the back, which is obviously as normal, the glossy Batman v Superman logo. And yeah, so that's basically it for the box. So I'll crack it open. I'm not going to fiddle with too much with this, guys, just because it's not mine and the person that has it they wants to put it up for Christmas. So. Uh, yeah, so uh, so you got the this on the inside, which is obviously just the names of all the talented people behind the figure. So I'll give you a bit of a look at that. So yes, it's that's fairly nice, and you crack the box open, and it's basically like what you have with the armored Batman from before. I'm not going to go mad on showing you everything with this. I'll just show you basic stuff. Um, but you get the general idea. This is the box. And uh, yeah. So we'll move on to the figure and its accessories next. Okay, so now we're moving on to the accessories for the Batman. So other than the basic uh, mouthpiece there, which you get with the standard... It's like everything else is the same pretty much apart from the stand, but what I'll do is I'll show you the differences between uh, the stand and you'll notice it instantly. If you look at the kryptonite grenade launcher, as you, you can see there's a glossy finish on it. It's like a black gloss, so uh, which is really nice. Um, whereas the standard Batman... Is one is uh, you know, it's just like more of a matte color, so you can see nice and glossy. Still pulls back, and that's all glossy as well. But um, yeah, you know, it's, it's got that. So I like the fact that they've gone and done that as well. It's not just the figure; it's the weapons as well. And it's even the same with the grenade launching missiles. You see the chrome finish, like the black shiny finish. Um, and even the rail launcher, again, it's a black chrome finish or a shiny finish. Which is nice. 
and last but not least uh, the stand I'm not taking it out of the packaging just because it's like again not mine but it's a pretty huge one uh, don't know if it needs to be this huge don't know why they didn't just put the other one in uh, the standard one but you know it does the job it's huge if you've got the space I guess you can you know use it uh, but it's got the Batman v Superman logo on and then as you can see there uh, armored Batman doesn't say chrome or anything, it just says armored Batman. Um, and yeah, big, it's got like a cardboard sort of top. And there's where you put the the stand like holder. And uh, yeah, people have said the only problem with this is because of how far back and how big this is, Batman's about here. So he's, he's sort of, you know, all the space is not being used, so. That's the only problem people have had with this, but yeah, seems nice enough. Uh, so I guess we can move on to the figure himself now. Okay, so now we are on to the figure itself, and uh, yeah, it's it's a really nice um, figure, you know. Uh, very much the same as the standard Armoured Batman, but it's got this uh, sort of glossy black paint application on it. Um, it's not, it's not chrome, like people, I've heard people saying, you know, they're a little disappointed that it's not chrome, and I can see where you're coming from, it's not, you know, proper chrome, it's more, um, sort of, uh, you know, sort of just shiny black plastic, but, um, but yeah, it's, 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 it's really nice for the most part, you know, um, They've done a pretty good job on it, you know, um, and uh, you know, yeah, it, it's enough. If it's if it's something you're looking for, then I think you might like this. Uh, but I'll give you a bit of a close up of him. So here's the head. I'll just uh, actually bring this down and bring it up close. So, here's the head sculpt anyway, so it's basically the same as the standard, but you've got, obviously, the shiny black finish on it, um, so obviously picking up the details, there are the scratches, which is quite nice. If I bring you down, so you've got all the, the shiny black, you know, the armor there, which is it's really well done. Um, but as you can see, it's not it's not what it had class as chrome. Um, shoulder pads look nice. And that's nice as well. Bring this down. So you got the. Uh, it's just picking it up as the reflection. But um, yeah, you know he's got the shiny chromeness. Uh, well, again, not chrome, but shiny. You know, armor. Um, as you can see the. Belt is just black with like paint chips on it, um, and you've got the gauntlets like the arms which look nice. And again, no gold on here; it's just sort of a flat sort of black color. They go with the rest of it, and you've got the legs. You know. Um, So I'll bring this closer so you can see, because with it being black, it's harder to uh, pick up. So there's little little bits of blue inside these cuts, I think, um, which help 
you know bring out the, the scratches and the details a little bit more so again you got that you got some scuff marks but you know it's that basic just color from what you had before but very nice and you know the boots again yeah, nicely done got some nice weathering on them and you got the shiny chrome and then so that's that and then if I stand him up the cape is a slightly darker color I think slightly to the standard one um, in certain parts but it looks I don't know it's, it's hard to tell now uh, but yeah the cape's fairly nice again very much like the first one uh, you've got the weathering at the bottom there which is nice and yeah so the cape's the same and then just if you want to have a look from the boat back they've chromed up the like you know put the black shiny black there as well so it's very nice uh, but it's basically the same figure with a you know a shiny black paint job um and then what i'll do is i'll now i'll get the standard batman out and uh we'll do a side by side comparison eh Okay, so now we're on to the comparison of the two figures themselves. So, uh, obviously, you got Chrome here and Standard there. Um, both look really nice. Um, and you can tell the obvious differences between the two. Um, and, you know, both basically the same figure as base model, but there are some slight changes uh, between the two figures. So we'll start from the head. And we'll work our way down. So, as you can see, we've got the chrome sort of helmet there with the Batman, the chrome Batman. So, looks really nice and shiny. And sort of the scratches are a little bit more like the big ones are more sort of just bold and sort of noticeable. Whereas on the standard, you've got the big scratches, but then you've also got the uh, tiny little ones as well in there and the scuffs and marks and stuff uh, and I think for detail wise even the person that owns this figure the family member that has this figure says that this one's a little bit more detailed when it comes to the paint application but that's only natural as this is chrome or shiny plastic should we say um, and you know the, the, you're getting the shiny effect off off, um, off of this one. Uh, another difference I've noticed is the strap here. You've got this black bit in the middle, whereas the standard is just grey. Um, you've got sort of the shoulder pads, which again, you can sort of tell. You've still got the scuffs. Uh, but obviously that's a shiny one and this has got some shine to it but obviously it's got that more met metal sort of look you know it looks a little bit more rusty or you know like it's you know a bit grinded down you know it's got that sort of look to it um, so you know you got all of that um as you and then if you come we come down as well you've got the sort of the chest armor I'll try and get a better so you got the chest armor so as you can see it's just your sort of it's you can see the details in there but it's more sort of smoothed out with the chrome or you know again shiny black um paint application Whereas on the standard, you've sort of, you know, again, you've got that sort of grinded down look like metal. And, you know, you've got like different sort of layers of 
paint and textures and stuff on this one. Which gets lost a little bit in this one. Um, so you come down. It's got the main area there. So you've got still can see the scuffs and stuff, but obviously it's nice and shiny. And the standard is very again scuffs are there, but it's you know like I said more movie accurate. Uh, a huge difference between the two figures is the belts. Uh, obviously on the standard you've got the goldy sort of bronzy look to it and with the standard you've got the sort of black look with sort of just paint chips coming off sort of on the edges and stuff so um yeah so in some ways there's a little bit more weathering on this in certain parts but i think they've had to do that to sort of break it up so it just doesn't look like a black silhouette or anything you know um, another difference between the two figures is the gauntlets. Just turn this so obviously you can see the differences there. You can also see there's a bit more of a, a blue sort of tinge in the paint in between the cracks on the chrome, whereas the standard is just normal. And I think that's what they've gone with. They've gone with sort of a blue paint in between to sort of bring out the details uh, that would be missing otherwise. I mean, it's kind of like the stealth Iron Man figure that we had, we did have. Um, that figure is a, an example of, you know, when you don't mix the colours, you don't have a little bit of difference in the colour uh, tone or anything, you, you sort of lose the detail and only can see it in certain lights where adding this sort of blue in here sort of brings out the details so you don't feel like you're losing out on the details as much um, which is great um, but as you can see with the gauntlets here you've got the gold sort of wash gold on there whereas again you sort of got that bluish sort of colour there and then you've got the black on the end so that sort of breaks it up um, but again, very nice. Um, and if you come down to the legs, it's the same again. You know, you've got um, sort of that blue here with the black on the end. And you've got the gold with the standard. Um, and yes, yeah, so for, for differences like that, they are... That's some of the major differences... Um, I mean, if I turn them around for you, oops, uh, ooh, it's only probably got to get them to stand. I'll pop this one here for a second and we'll straighten this one up, and then we'll straighten this one. Okay. So for people who are asking, do they stand on their own? They do, but I wouldn't recommend keeping them on their own like that. Uh, but as you can see, you've got a bit of a difference here. Whereas the light sort of catching this and bringing some details out. This one's just more reflective, but it's there and it looks nice. You can definitely see the more sort of chrome light look to it. Um, if you look, lift it up underneath... For the chrome, you can see all of the details in there, you know, so you've got all of those. And you can still see the details again with little blue highlights and stuff. And, you know, it's very nice, very nice. And so you drop that down. Now for capes, they both look pretty much identical. Um, did think there was a, a originally a thought that was going to be a difference in capes, but there isn't really. Uh, the only difference is is on these two figures anyway. This one has a few more stains on it, whereas this one at the top is a little bit more clean. But if you come down to the bottom, both have still got the awesome weathering on the cape. 
So yeah, it, it looks great on both um, cape and yeah, so they're both, like I said, both are cracking figures and I think if you are looking at getting the chrome Batman, you know, it's, it's definitely a nice figure. You do, there are some pros, there's pros and cons, obviously, but again, it's all personal preference. There's no right or wrong answer when it comes to this sort of stuff. Um, you know, it's all whatever you like. It's all subjective. Um, but uh, but you can see in this light, for example, it, it's this one because it's lighter, or you know, it's got that sort of lightest, to obviously, color to it. The light sort of pick it up a bit more because it's not jet black, and you're picking up the details. Whereas this is more reflective. Um, I find with this it benefits from blue lights in the background, and then if I change these lights. Yeah. So you say you got blue. The blue generally does help um, with the Chrome Batman. Um, if you push them further back, I mean you've got see the standard Batman looks great, but you see the Chrome Batman really helps highlight the. Uh, the armor a bit. I mean that bit here. That's light reflecting off it within, you know. And whereas it's it's there on this one for blue, it's more sort of pops on this one. Um, and if I lift it up just a bit further, and I can hold it up. Just keep in mind the the these lights are higher up. Um, but if you look. Blue really works with this. So if you have got a light setup that you can change the colors, I highly recommend the, the blue color. Just look at how the chrome pops. Man. Looks fantastic. And that would be the color I would go with. Um, whereas if I got the standard Batman, we'll see how that looks, which again, looks nice in the blue but i think the chrome uh benefits from it more so we'll pick it up again so again you see the chrome sort of benefits from that blue a bit more so you see how it's picking up the details and also it gives off more of a chrome look to the figure But that would be, I mean, they got the arms and they see the gauntlets and that. That's what I would have it like anyway. But for me personally, I think blue, the blue lights suit this figure the best. So if you do, like I said, if you have a your own light set up like myself, which you can change the colours, I think blue for the chrome is what will suit it best. Um... I just think it, you know, just complements, sort of adds something to the figure. And because it's already got those sort of blue tones in, like, in there, it sort of helps them pop and come out a bit. I mean, it's like this. That's sort of got a bluish tone here and there, but you can see how that's popping the reflection. It looks like it's lit up. But, uh, yeah, so I think blue works best for this Batman. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it uh, for this um, sort of video. Uh, personally, myself, I like both. I think both look really, really nice. If I had to pick one, I'm still happy with the one I've got, the standard. Uh, it's more up my alley. It's, it, it's movie accurate to the film. And as a fan of the film, I wanted a movie accurate version of it. Uh, whereas this is... A little, obviously more of a maybe an artistic interpretation but it also does give you also in certain light that sort of scene where he's standing waiting for Superman in the rain and it's got the rain effect on it as well so you know she can have him standing up like that and then obviously if you lift that up you know it sort of gives that sort of wet look to it 
which is quite nice. But both figures are really, really nice. I don't think you can go wrong either way. Um, you know, I think both are really good pieces. Both obviously still lack in the articulation department, but again, that's not why I buy these figures. Um, you know, the, 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 these ones are great. And also, if you fiddle around with them, you can get some more, more articulation out of them. Uh, but yeah, so I thought I'd do this comparison anyway, and I hope hope you guys liked it. I hope it helped you out. Um, also, if you are making a decision on whether which one to get, um, and I, like for me, I, you can't go wrong either way. Um, uh, but yeah, really nice pieces. Um, so the only thing that's a bit bizarre with this one is the stand. The stand, I think, is way too big. It's not a bad stand, it's just, I think, for the average collector, it's going to be a little bit of a pain in the arse to try and fit it in. And also, when you think about they've got these stands, you just think, why didn't they just give it that stand, you know? As I think these stands are actually a little... They're a better quality stand than that what he's got, so... Yeah, so it was a bit of an odd choice with that one, but other than that, I think a very strong figure, the Chrome Batman. Um, definitely one of the better exclusives out there, I think. Uh, and it's uh, definitely better than the Stealth Iron Man, in my opinion, anyway. Um, even though the, the Stealth Iron Man was nice, I just thought this was nicer. Um, but yeah, so I hope you enjoyed uh, the video, guys. I hope this helped, and uh, thanks for watching, and um, I'll catch you later. Cheers.